So Derek, how's uh, you know, about a week and a half in now? How are things looking on the D-line? D-line's looking great. Everybody's looking sturdy. Uh, all strong. We all play our gap, uh, gaps well, know the scheme. And now we're just taking it day by day. Keep hearing about how many, I mean, there's like 10 or 11 guys who feels like play for you guys. Um, Everybody can play. Yeah, like what, how, how does that, know, are you, how, how do you expect that to change uh, your role, your job? It doesn't change anything because everybody has to be ready at every time, all, all the time. Because everybody, anybody can go down during the season, so next man has to step up. Are so, you, are you guys like, I don't know, like are, are there like line changes, like where it's like four guys and four guys coming? Like, how are you guys kind of rotating? Or is it everyone mix and match? No, nah, it's mix and match. Different personnel. Everybody, they want to see everybody work with everybody. So it's like uh, they want to see. They don't want to see a, a, a set of guys just work with this set of guys for the whole the whole year. It's just they want to see a whole bunch of different guys working with different people different looks, it's just a whole bunch of different stuff. How does it help knowing that you're always going to be fresh? You know, if you're tired, you can come out, someone, there's someone that'll go in for you. Uh, and when you're out on the field, you'll be fresh the majority of the time. It feels great. It feels great. I, I actually feel, feel, it feels nice knowing that like when I'm off the field, I have, I already know that like we're going to get the stop, three, the three, my four, I'm sorry, the three down, stop, all that, like we're going to be fine. Does it help productivity of everybody? Yes. Because everybody's fresh, everybody's yeah. fresh. Everybody has these, uh, gives good plays and all that. Gary, what, what do you imagine that opening game, first game for Mario as head coach here? Uh, what do you imagine Hard Rock to be like that game? Well, now that Mario's back, I imagine that to be a loud stadium. I'm hoping it's going to be uh, packed out. You know, that's what I'm hoping. But it's going to be a nice stadium. I'm hoping it's going to be nice. How much does that affect you guys when it's packed out and you got the crowd going? Well, to be honest, I was speaking for me. Well, I know for the team, it brings a lot of energy. But for me, I'm so focused in the game and just trying to win and doing my job. So I can't really speak for everybody else. But I know everybody else, is, is, it brings a lot of energy. It brings a lot of juice to the, uh, to the game. Tell me how you think last weekend scrimmage went for yourself from the defensive line as a unit. I'm always going to criticize myself hardest but I feel like we played well uh, uh, technique wise and effort wise we played we played well too it was just another day of practice to be honest what are you guys looking for in the scrimmage on Saturday uh, more precise details on, our, on knowing our plays uh, and that's it basically just bringing effort we just we have, we have to bring effort and, and technique to everything we do so that's basically it we, we heard or we perceived that the defense uh, did very well on that scrimmage. What are your so, thoughts? The defense did well in the last scrimmage. Yeah, we, we did. We, we played hard. We played smart. And we used technique. That's it, basically. Was the toughest offense on the offensive line for the matchup against? All of them. All right, they all work as a unit now, so it's not like you're going against one person every play. It's, you go against two, Jalen Rivers, Scave, uh, Logan, uh, justice, like a whole, a whole bunch of like all of them are tough to be honest. So Any of the young guys kind of stand out to you? Uh, I haven't really gone against the, the younger guys, but one guy that stands up to me is probably Cooper, the the, all I'm, the, the freshman. The, all of them stand out to me. I haven't gone against any of them. Do you feel they're better? Are you finding them to be better than they were a year ago? What do you mean the freshman? The, the old line. Yes, they're very better. They, they're very, they're more they're more united and they play as a group. So it's, it's kind of hard to like you know go against them, but going against hard, uh, going against them hard every day makes you tougher. So, so com com combining them being better with you guys having more bodies and, uh, and a lot of depth, has the intensity and competition in practice been amped up? Yes, it does. And it, it's, it's, it, it has been amped up, I ain't going to hold you. It does. But uh, other than that, you can't, I can't say nothing, but like, it's just, we just play hard and throughout the whole practice, like, that's it. Does it motivate you or give you any extra juice where you know when you go up against the offensive line, like Mario's coaching them, like he's been with them the whole whole practice, you know, give you guys any extra like extra juice, I guess? No, we bring our own juice. Has there been a lot of like cross, cross training going on uh, with the defensive line? Uh, Say that one more time. Has there been a lot of like cross training going on uh, different positions throughout the defensive line? Like all certain positions, like the yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not really. Well, we kind of just stick it to the script. Like, everybody plays their position, but well, you'll, you'll see some different personnel changes depending on how we all uh, go against our uh, opponent.
then, you know, what has freshman Nigel Lee Kelly brought to uh, you as a whole? What are your first thoughts on him? He's fast. Fast and long and just twitchy and just linky. He's just, he's going to be a freak in, in the future. Just give him a few years. He's, he's going to be good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Have a great day, man.